the Lagos State Government on Tuesday afternoon imposed a curfew. In the rush beats, the curfew and several barricades across Lagos. A ripple effect was created across the state. Fumi Unajefe files in this report. The NSAR's peaceful protest continued in Lagos today. At the toll gate in Leki, it started with prayers. The graffiti expresses the anger of the people. The protest gives some an avenue to vent their frustration beyond the call to end in police brutality. This is on the 28th. We've shut down. I've not been going to work. An idle man is a devil workshop. And I don't want to be a devil workshop. Instead of me staying at home, thinking and dying. Well, I give kudos to my company. I did not give kudos to Nigeria. My company tried a lot. Out of 100%, if they can give 50%, they are trying. They promised us 5,000 naira. For COVID, we could not see 1,000. The protest at Bagada Expressway had music to kindle the spirit of the protesters, but the anger is palpable. Yes, 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 we must end this Hoodlums had barricaded part of Third Millard Bridge, set up roadblocks, and there were reports of violence in Owini. Following the escalating violence in parts of Lagos, Governor Babajide Sawolu imposed a 24-hour curfew starting at 4 p.m., which was later extended to 9 p.m. Motorists placed green leaves on their vehicle as a sign of peace. The curfew creates panic, with everyone hurrying to get home. But with several roadblocks and the rush, there's an inevitable gridlock on Third Mainland Bridge, Akmomo part of Eco Bridge and Bagada Expressway, leaving drivers, commuters, frustrated and some resolving to work. <laughs> the energy remains the same as protesters defy the curfew and state their demands, with the Inspector General of Police deploying anti riot policemen across the state. We are hopeful the tension and violence doesn't escalate. Reporting for Post TV Africa.